Hello. In this video, you will learn about the matrix times vector multiplication. This is one of the most fundamental operations in linear algebra, so it is important to get it straight. Throughout the video, the mantra will be the product of a matrix and a vector is... Oh, stop! This slide might give you a headache. Let me start again. The product of a matrix and a vector is a linear combination of the columns of the matrix. Here the matrix is just a block of numbers without any interpretation whatsoever. It could be the coefficient matrix of a linear system, but it could also contain, for instance, the amounts of m different vitamins in n different nutrients. The precise definition is as follows. If A is an m by n matrix, with columns A1 up to An, and x is a vector in Rn, then A times x is the linear combination of the columns of A with the elements of the vector x as coefficients. Note that the length of the vector x must be equal to the number of columns of the matrix, otherwise the product is not defined. Look at the example on the slide. The matrix A has two columns, the vector x has two entries, so the product is well defined, and the result is the vector as shown. If the length of the vector x does not correspond to the number of columns of the matrix, which is the case here, the product is not defined. Let me repeat the definition. The product of a matrix and a vector is a linear combination of the columns of the matrix with the elements of the vector as coefficients. It immediately follows that the vector equation x1 a1 plus x2 a2 up to xn a n equals b and the matrix equation a times x equals b are one and the same thing. So now we have four ways to write down a system of linear equations with coefficient matrix A. Apart from the system as it is, we can use the augmented matrix, we can consider it as a vector equation, or we can write it as a matrix equation. This seems unnecessary, not to say over the top, but each representation has its own advantage, as you will see later in the course. Have a look at a small example on the slide. The system of equations 4x1 plus 2x2 equals 2 and 5x1 plus 3x2 equals 1 can be rewritten using the augmented matrix, which is just an abbreviation, or as a vector equation, and now also as a matrix equation. Equivalence means that the solution set is the same for all four systems. In this example, the solution is x1 equals 2, x2 equals minus 3. Have another look at the definition. The product of a matrix and a vector is a linear combination of the columns of the matrix with the elements of the vector as coefficients. The definition leads to a calculation of the product that involves one small step more than is actually necessary. Namely, have a look at the following example. A general 2 by 3 matrix A is multiplied with an arbitrary vector in R3. First, the product is written as a linear combination of the columns, and next, this is written as one vector. Coloring spices it up. It shows that, for instance, the first element of the product, on the slide this is in red, is the result of multiplying the elements of the first row of A with the elements of X and adding these products. Likewise for the other elements. The intermediate form could just as well be skipped. Now this works in any dimension. In the small example on the slide, a 4 by 2 matrix is multiplied with a vector in R2. For instance, the fourth element is found using the fourth row of the matrix. This is the shortest route to find the product. However, the shortest route is not always the route that provides the best insight. Remember the mantra. And if you don't, scroll back 
and say it out loud. So far, so good. Goodbye.